On February 2nd, 1909, Pittsburgh police officers raided a predominantly black neighborhood and arrested over 200 black men for being unemployed. Days earlier, the city had increased its police presence after vague reports of numerous attacks upon white women. There was little evidence of attacks and there was no ongoing investigations, but police immediately began harassing black men. Officers raided every black home in Heron Hill, arresting any black man who could not provide proof of employment. The men were charged with vagrancy, and the next day many were sent to the workhouse and consigned to forced labor. The men had not committed any crime. Like many white people in the city, they were simply unemployed. After the Civil War, Southern states passed black codes, discriminatory policies used to criminalize and re-enslave black people for offenses like vagrancy, loitering, or not carrying proof of employment, black people were subjected to criminal prosecution. As black people migrated north to escape racial terror lynchings, northern cities adopted laws and similar policies. Mass arrests are just one example of the way black people were unlawfully abused, mistreated, and condemned to forced labor decades after the formal end of slavery in America. Today, a presumption of guilt and dangerousness too often makes people of color vulnerable to wrongful arrest and criminal prosecution.